Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be installing a VPN on Graphene OS. Now, when you load Graphene, it's just a blank slate. And that's one of the best things about it. It's black, it's white. There's not really much on there. And like I said, you know, it's nice not to have bloatware from Samsung or Google on the device because it's much more privacy friendly. Not only that, it's just nicer to not have anything on the device you don't want that you can't remove. It's kind of like Apple. Although Apple's made it a little bit easier to remove some of those things, admittedly. But with graphing, it's not even on there in the first place. So today we're going to be showing you how to install a VPN. In case you don't know how, I'm going to be talking about my top picks for Graphene OS. Um, some of the things about Graphene you might like um, with a VPN as well. You know, what are the characteristics of Graphene that make it privacy friendly? That would also be a good match with the VPN. Let's go ahead and talk about that. All right, guys. So I am now recording on my phone right now with Graphene OS on my Pixel 6a. The nice thing is, is there is a screen recorder in the native Graphene OS build. Um, so basically what you can do if you need an app is go to something called F-Droid. Now F-Droid is essentially a alternative to the Google Play Store. Um, and it's going to provide applications that are more privacy friendly than Google Play Store. Um, I just wanted to show you. So uh, the good thing is, is you do have that screen recorder on Graphene OS. If you didn't, you could check out something like Screen Cam. However, the cool thing about F-Droid is it says this app has features you may not like. If you look at it, it looks like it tracks and reports your activity, um, even though it should not. So that's not something we want to use, which is uh, good to see, you know, once again, that it does have that screen recording built in at the top there like I'm doing now. Um, so what is F-Droid? F-Droid is, like I said, you can download it from Google. It's available in APK. And you can pretty much look up applications that are privacy friendly. Um, so it's not going to have every application on there. Of course, it doesn't have some of my top VPNs. However, remember I was talking about installing a VPN? Well, you can actually install a VPN right from F-Droid. And which VPN is that going to be? Well, that's going to be none other than Proton VPN. Now, Proton VPN is available on uh, F-Droid, um, which is nice. However, according to F-Droid, this app does promote non-free network services. So it's not uh, free. It is open source though, zero trackers and stuff like that. So it, it fits the bill of F-Droid, which is nice. So if you're looking for a really good match of Graphene OS, Proton's not the worst one to pick. You can see my full Proton review on the channel. Um, check that out on the channel. It's not the perfect VPN. It's a bit pricey. Um, it's missing a couple features here and there, but overall it's a pretty good complement to Graphene OS. And I do like how you can easily install it from F-Droid. It makes it very easy to put a VPN on Graphene OS. So go ahead and check out that review. Click my, li my link in the description for Proton if you want to check it out. If you click the link, you should be able to get the best current deal. It can be hard to find the best current deal with a lot of VPNs. So make sure to click on that link if you want to get the best deal. And you want to help support videos just like these that are unsponsored, not sponsored by Proton. I just think it's a really good fit for this video since you could just natively, um, you know, install it right from uh, the F-Droid. Of course, there's some other VPNs as well that you could pick from. There's some decentralized options and stuff like that, but I haven't looked too much into those since a lot of them uh, don't really uh, compete that well, in my opinion, uh, compared to something like, you know, they don't have the speeds or bypassability of some of the other VPNs. The good thing is about uh, Graphene OS, you can also install uh, APKs. As you can see, I do have TorGuard VPN on here, working fine, it looks great, it functions awesome. Um, the cool thing about TorGuard, I actually think it's a stronger on uh, I mean, the mobile counterparts than the PC in some ways. You know, you have the uh, some really good features there, um, and it just works really well on mobile. A little bit smoother um, experience. Um, so TorGuard is available from APK. You could just go to their website, the download section, download APK, and you'll get it right on your device like this. You don't even need F-Droid. So once again, pretty cool. I'm not really sure why TorGuard hasn't included private mail as an APK download. If you go to private mail to do their encrypted email offering, uh, basically it's just going to be uh, take you to Google Play services and that's not what you really want to do here. Um, so that's something to think about. Overall though, that's it guys. I'm keeping this one simple and sweet, just specifically talking about VPN. If you want to do it the easy way, go to F-Droid, download something like Proton, check out the review. If you want to download APKs, you could just natively install those on Graphene OS as well. Now guys, I did realize something after making this video and playing around a little bit more Graphene. You can also just install Aurora. This pretty much lets you um, install any VPN you want and anything like that. Um, 
So check that out on FDroid as well. Just look up Aurora and you'll be able to download it there. And you can install TorGuard or any other top VPNs on my tier list, which you can find at vpntierlist.com. So very easy to install a VPN on Graphene OS. Couldn't be easier, in my opinion. Um, stick around on the channel for more tutorials. I might do in more in-depth examinations of different app stores and different ways to install different apps. So stick around. Let me know down in the comments down below if you like this one. And I'll see you again very soon.